welcome back to the IBSP. Here's your host, Foxy New. Welcome back, fight fans. Welcome back. Andy Reese versus Tyson Too Fast Fury is a better fight than most people think. Let's just go ahead and break it down honestly and objectively. And we start with, you know, with Andy Reese posting this interesting statement on his Twitter. And he stated, you know, I want to shot at Tyson Fury. Deontay Wilder lost. But you know what? I'm ready. I'm going to get back in the ring. And I want a shot at the WBC title so you know that's a very interesting statement from andy Reese jr and when we look at it we realize that dillian white is probably the most deserving and he's going to probably be next in line after deontay wilder um so if we understand the order of things it's more than likely going to be dillian white after wilder but should everything go according to plan and somehow andy Reese and tyson fury does get in the ring at some point uh you know you see what will happen you know this will be a very interesting fight because style makes fights you know the fight you know it, it's not going to be a blow up from tyson fury's side like most people think and you know andy Reeves isn't going to get dominated but he's not also going to look dominant this is going to be a much better stylistic matchup than most people think you know i've done a lot of thinking about this and when you look at it you see tyson fury facing a pressure fighter in the auto Wallin, a guy who had no power a guy didn't have elite level speed and you know he him tyson fury up on the ropes you know got a lot of pressure caused a huge gash on the side of his face some people felt the fight should have been stopped some people felt Waleen should have won the fight based on a potential stoppage but you know it is what it is Tyson Fury himself you know struggled a lot in that fight and you know what it wasn't due to anything other than simply the style he wasn't throwing one punch at a time Otto Wallin was throwing a lot of punches at a time Otto Wallin was bringing consistent pressure he just didn't have any power or speed behind it he was missing a lot of shots and these are two things where Andy Reid stylistically would bring Tyson Fury a lot of difficulty you know a lot of people look at the Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder fight and try to gauge him towards Anthony Joshua and Andy Reese and Dillian White and that's a mistake because if you look at it Deontay Wilder is literally the worst technical active boxer today technically he has the worst fundamental skill set out of any boxer not just a heavyweight division but in all of boxing Deontay Wilder has solely relied on the right hand so for a tactician like Tyson Fury it's easy to pick him apart look you got to look at it like this Deontay Wilder has never been a top beaten a top level opposition he's never even fought him until Tyson Fury he, he never fought Vladimir Klitschko, never fought Dillian White, never fought Andy Reese, never fought Anthony Joshua. So, you know, for you to think that Deontay Wilder, whose resume was smoking mirrors full of old guys or tomato cans, at the end of the day, you know, the win is not as great as many people think, but it's still a good win for Tyson Fury, still a title fight, but it may not be as difficult as any other stylistic matchup he could face. Let's be honest and unbiased. Let's not pump this guy up higher than he deserves to be pumped. Tyson Tyson Fury is a great athlete. He's a great champion. And, you know, you could debate whether he's number one in the division or not. I still believe Anthony Joshua was number one based on his body of work. If you look at, uh, you know, Andy Reeves versus Tyson Fury, you see that's a very good matchup. That's a closer matchup than people think because Andy Reeves stylistically has pressure, has hand speed. Andy Reeves Jr. knows how to close the distance. So these are things that he's going to bring to Tyson Fury that Otto Wallin brought, which caused him a lot of stylistic problems, except for Reeves has more speed Andy Reese has more power and so those are big things that are going to cause Fury some problems now this is why I still favor Tyson Fury to win the matchup though if you look at it you see when Anthony Joshua fought Andy Reese in the rematch he literally dominated him from pillar to post pillar to post he dominated Andy Reese Jr. just boxed him used his height and reach advantage just as many predicted he never ran from Andy Reese that is a fanboy statement you got to be honest and unbiased he actually teed off on Andy Reid's at will. Andy Reid's feet were just too slow to keep up with Anthony Joshua. Now we understand that a pressure fighter is what, you know, what he was trying to bring to Anthony Joshua, but Anthony Joshua made 
the adjustments necessary. So we understand that Anthony Joshua did it. It's likely Tyson Fury could potentially be able to do it. But there's a huge difference between Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury. And one of those big differences is Anthony Joshua has elite level power. Tyson Fury has never been known as an elite level puncher. Let's be honest and unbiased. Yes, he stopped Deontay Wilder, but he never put him to sleep. He did do a great job of beating the hell out of Deontay Wilder for the fight. But at the same time, we've seen Deontay Wilder Wilder, you know, dropped by Harold Sconiers, a nobody. We've seen Deontay Wilder rocked by Eric Molina, a nobody. We've seen Deontay Wilder stun days and potentially out on his feet against Luis Ortiz, a 50-year-old man in their first fight. So let's let's be honest and unbiased. Tyson Fury power is going to be lacking, and he's not going to be able to sit down on his shots against a Ruiz like Anthony Joshua did. He simply won't be able to do it. That's not how he fights. Deontay Wilder is so technically deficient which allows Tyson Fury to do things against him that he wouldn't be able to do against other opponents who have better technical abilities. Let's be honest and unbiased. But I still favor Tyson Fury because ultimately I think it'll be a close competitive fight, but I think his height and reach advantage may be enough to get the victory against an Andrew Reed, so I would favor Tyson Fury to get the victory, although I do think it would be a very interesting, close, and even a competitive fight. But once again, unbiased as always, it's the IBFP.